He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. Rising and falling water are two of the circumstances we basically have to face over the seasons. You know, either we get heavy rains or we get periods of stable water where the you know, evaporation and, and normal conditions are causing the water to drop in level. And uh, that dropping water is one of the best things that we can have because what happens as it falls is that it pulls stuff out from the uh, inner flats and, uh, and around the lake in the basin. And as it drops there, all the life that's in there, everything literally from... Uh, Earthworms to snails to minnows has to come out and has to come out with that water because it, it needs the water so it tends to concentrate it and it resists passing the edge of the lake. It, you know, so that's the time to go straight to the edge, to the, to the shoreline and fish the cover that's really uh, right along the edge of the lake. And one of the best ways to look for the best of that kind of cover is to look for the places where if the water drops, say, a foot, it uncovers the most dry land back in the woods, not the least. In other words, you go to the shallow banks and the sloping banks because as that water drops, say, on a bank that's like this and it drops a foot, it, it's not going to move the shoreline but that far out, so you're not going to move that much up. But if the bank is like this and you, and you drop a foot, You'll literally uncover yards of dry land and all the cover that's in it and it's going to come to the edge and that's really going to concentrate bass. So I really look for those areas in falling water. But also remember too that uh, your creeks and your uh, inner tributaries coming into the lake tend to slow and, and stop flowing. And uh, when that happens, the bass that are in them that are up in those things tend to move out right to the mouths of them. So you'll have two points where a creek comes out. Fish the farthest out point first. In other words, seldom will a creek come out and be just like that's one side and that's the other side. It'll be like this side and then this side will be farther out. Fish the farthest out point one, you know, first. And, uh, you know, you'll find most of those creeks have stumps lining them because trees lined the original creeks and uh, they're usually knocked off in the reservoirs and there's lines of stumps that go out and fish those things all the way out to 10-15 feet of water with uh, jigs and deep running crankbaits and spinnerbaits and uh, also don't forsake the open water you know sometimes when things are changing it's best to find places where they're not changing so if you'll go out into the middle of the lake where the main channel goes and look for humps and bends in the original creeks where that foot of water is really way overhead and not even noticed by the fish that are on the structure 10 or 15 feet below you'll find fish the way they always were and so finding the places that aren't changing or finding the places that are changing the most are the best ways to find fish in falling water if you've enjoyed today's edition as much as i have being here for you then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.